Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for January 14, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A thought for the day. Unity. In many self-governing countries, we are now seeing the inroads of ignorance, apathy and power-seeking upon democratic systems. The spiritual resources of right purpose and collective intelligence are waning. Consequently, many a land has become so helpless that the only answer is dictatorship. Happily for us, there seems little prospect of such a calamity in AA. The life of each individual and of each group is built around the 12 steps and 12 traditions. We very well know that the penalty for extensive disobedience to these principles is death of the individual and dissolution of the group. An even greater force for AA's unity is in the compelling love that we have for our fellow members and for the principles upon which our lives today are founded. Bill W. 12 Concepts for the World Service, page 8. Thought to consider. Only those who see the invisible can accomplish the impossible. Acronyms. SOB. Sober Old Bag. Just for today. Quitting from more about alcoholism. Though there is no way of proving it, we believe that early in our drinking careers, most of us could have stopped drinking. But the difficulty is that few alcoholics have enough desire to stop while there is yet time. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 33. Daily Reflections. No regrets. We will not regret the past, nor wish to shut the door on it. It's Alcoholics Anonymous, page 83. Once I became sober, I began to see how wasteful my life had been, and I experienced overwhelming guilt and feelings of regret. The program's fourth and fifth step assisted me enormously in healing those troubling regrets. I learned that my self-centeredness and dishonesty stemmed largely from my drinking and that I drank because I was an alcoholic. Now I see that even my most distasteful past experiences can turn to gold because, as a sober alcoholic, I can share them to help my fellow alcoholics, particularly the newcomers. Sober for several years in the AA, I no longer regret the past. I am simply grateful to be conscious of God's love and of the help I can give to others in the fellowship. As Bill sees it, newcomer problems. The temptation is to become rather possessive of newcomers. Perhaps we try to give them advice about their affairs which we aren't really competent to give or ought not to give at all. Then we are hurt and confused when the advice is rejected or when it is accepted and brings still greater confusion. You cannot make a horse drink water if he still prefers beer or is too crazy to know what he does want. Set a pail of water beside him, tell him how good it is and why, and leave him alone. If people really want to get drunk, there is, so far as I know, no way of stopping them. So leave them alone and let them get drunk, but don't exclude them from the water pail either. It's from the 12 and 12 page 111 and a letter from 1942. Big book quote. When ready, we say something like this. My creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me, good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my fellows. Grant me strength as I go out from here to do your bidding. Amen. We have then completed step seven. Alcoholics Anonymous, Interaction, page 76. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. When we first came into AA, a sober life seemed strange. We wondered what life could possibly be like without ever taking a drink. At first, a sober life seemed unnatural. But the longer we were in AA, the more natural this way of life seems. And now we know that the life we are living in AA, the sobriety, the fellowship, the faith in God, and the trying to help each other, is the most natural way we could possibly live. Do I believe it is the way God wants me to live? Meditation for the day. I will learn to overcome myself because every blow to selfishness is used to shape the real, eternal, unperishable me. As I overcome myself, I gain that power which God releases in my soul, and I too will be victorious. 
It's not the difficulties of life that I have to conquer so much as my own selfishness. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may obey God and walk with him and listen to him. I pray that I may strive to overcome my own selfishness. It's from Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name's Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.